Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm showing you how to add a portfolio to your page with Jet Elements plugin. Here it goes. This is the widget that you need and you drop it on a new section. And it gives you a basic layout. You've got a number of options for the layout. And I'll go with grid for now and go to the items tab and add the images so it is looking better while we are customizing it so here it goes now let me show you what you've got inside every single item in here in the items tab so as you've seen you can add an image title description and you can make every single item clickable And you see that you can add a link and the link options, such as open a new window and add no follow. Right, but also you've got a category field in there. So you can type in the category that this portfolio item is gonna have. So you can inside the category right here inside Elementor, right in this widget. So let's call it seafood. And here we go, there is a filter that's popping up at the top and we're going to style and set the settings for the filter a little later. For now, you also see that the category has appeared in here on the portfolio item once I hover over it. All right now, let's go ahead and add a number of categories to every item. So we've got the filters in here and we've got the categories shown on the portfolio items. So here we go, now we've got the categories set to every single item. But there is an interesting feature that you can add multiple categories to one portfolio item. You simply separate two categories with a comma. And here we go, we have assigned two categories and one more category has appeared in here and in here. So. We're pretty much done with adding the items to a portfolio. Now let's head over to the settings tab. So in the layout options, you've got messenger, grid, justify, and list. And the preset is the style preset that applies to your portfolio items. Usually you can see it once you hover over the item, like now. And you've got four of them. And let's go ahead and try out all of those so now you can see the information about the portfolio item right here and you don't have to hover over it and when you hover you can only open it in a like box then here goes the third type so no information is shown and the fourth type and I'll actually go with this preset here you set the columns for a grid and depending on what layout type you're gonna choose here you'll have a different settings like for messenger and grid you can set the number of columns for justify you can set the item height and for the list like you know there will be nothing so we're gonna go with grid and then the view more button which is a pretty interesting feature that allows you to hide a number of items you know if you've got way too many of them and you want to save up some space on the page you can set the item per page value but it should be fewer than the total number of the items in your portfolio so i have six items so i set three and now i can only see three of my items and when i click view more it's going to show me all the other ones right and here i change the text that is displayed in the bottom like that so here is the text and you can change it over here so let's leave this button in there and go to the style tab to finally style our portfolio so here you increase or decrease the items margin 
set the border radius, border type, and these are the settings for the container. Then here go the settings for the filters. Filter container styles. So the background type, padding margin, border type, border radius, box shadow, filters, item styles. First you see is the separator icon and I don't want any icons in there. So here we go. And we skip the entire section with the separator settings. You have a number of them, such as color, size, alignment, etc. And here are the style settings for the links themselves. Like you see that? Like so. And now let's go ahead and change the color and some topography settings. So here we go, we're done with uh, the links, but let me just set the border radius. All right, let's close it and move on to the content tab, which is all about the portfolio items. So here goes the container, image. So you set the border radius for images. So you can make them a little rounded at the corners. Here you have the typography settings for the title, subtitle, and description. Here you can toggle whether you want the category list to be shown on uh, the items. Like if you toggle this to no, that's going to disappear and you can only see the categories here at the top. So description and button. If you have the button in here on portfolio items, you can apply the style settings that you can find in here. Here they go. And here you can change the order in which the title, subtitle, description and the button go in here. And then the settings for the more button. So let this be just like that. And we're pretty much done with the styling of our portfolio. So now you know how to add and style portfolio widget with the help of JetElements plugin. I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another tutorial.